All right. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to test some capacitors using one way the Subco capacitor tester and using your standard volt ohm meter to test it. Fairly simple on all aspects. One, if we take a look at this capacitor here, you can kind of tell we know this one's bad for the simple purpose the top has swelled up. We'll go ahead and show you how to test it anyways. Unpackage the leads. They are magnetic. Now, very important aspect. If you notice on here, dual capacitor. How do we know this is a dual one? You have fan, C is for common, and Herm here. Herm is the name for the hermetically sealed compressor in the air conditioner. So, we're going to go to from a C to a Herm. We will push it to button, and it says open. Maybe we'll try to see if we can get it. You can kind of see it, not the best, but it says open on Herm. Move the peg from Herm to fan. Push the button, and it says open again, confirming that this capacitor is bad. Now, different aspect. Once again, another dual capacitor. You have fan, common, and hermetic on here. Except, the big one here is it's not fully labeled. If I remember correctly, the center one on here is common. So if we go common to this post, push of the button it says 5.1 the rating is 5 we don't see any sort of a plus or minus on here so we have to assume it's going to be 10 percent so 10 percent of 5 should be 0 0.5 yeah that's okay it's not too too bad put it over here push the button What's it, 45, 46? It's rated 45. Eh, was testing bad, and that's testing good. But that's how you would test that. Using your digital meter, you want to put it on this magic setting here, MFD, which stands for microfarads. go to ground type of thing you just say no painted cases can insulate we're gonna go what fan to common and we have on here zero which means open we'll take this bad boy let's see we'll pick two tabs and it gives us, oh, we had a reading. This says 0.815.19. But that's all it'd be to test it. Ohming it out is a whole nother trick. You see the little horseshoe shape right there on the meter? That'd be ohms. You take your meter leads always. Keep it in mind, always touch together, confirm operation of your meter for ohming it out. Let's see. Orienting things, orienting things. Here we go, just like this. Uh oh, we got an OL. Let's see. Maybe. What we want to see if it's good. 
is do we get where it steadily where it goes down to zero and then goes up to OL or infinity that would signal good this one doesn't move so that would mean that it's going bad type of thing the other thing with the dual capacitors remember these are two electrical circuits here since these are two electrical circuits if you go between Herman Herman fan like we do here we have OL between fan and Herm which is a very good thing think of it they have different sections think of like a Y there this electrical component is separate from this electrical component you should not get anything between them right there we got OL but then again it's also open if this capacitor was shorted internally you'd have some sort of zero reading or some type of ohms reading there but that is a quick and basic way to test your capacitors with these two tools hope you guys enjoyed